Okay, I just wanted to give a little bit of a status update. Um, so far I've now just ripped out all of the heater wiring because I felt like it was actually not that great. So I'm gonna run the heater wiring. I'll probably run it from here straight to these dropping resistors that give me my artificial center tap. And then from there off to the first power tube. Uh, and then, but I, I'm, I'm debating that. We'll, we'll see when I'm done. But I've started up at this end and I'm just working my way down and around. Uh, to give myself much cleaner power, uh, because or you know much less noise by moving these around that way. So, uh, I've also already wired in this speaker jack now. So if you look, you can see a single wire here. It's kind of hard to see, but the blue and green wires now come in and connect to the bottom of this switch. And I have an eight ohm and a sixteen ohm switchable mode, which is cool. The only thing I'm a little kind of worried about is right by the power rectifier. The wires are okay, I think, but they're very close. I don't think that should be a problem because the, um, but it's possible it could introduce some hum because it's so close to this, uh, you know, high voltage output. So that could be a potential problem. I might need to kind of think about moving this over a little bit, kind of into here instead. I can redrill another hole. I've already got some weird holes at random places, but this guy does fit in here now as well. So, uh, you know, next steps are gonna be just to kind of continue putting in this heater wiring. As you can see, I've wound this a lot tighter and this has been something I've experienced works very well in my other builds now is just getting that heater wiring nice and tight. I have not yet touched up the solder on these two, but I will do that as well, as mentioned. And we'll see where it goes from there. One other thing I might think of doing is I've got this big uh, high watt resistor that's 175 ohm for the cathode bias. Uh, it's kind of sticking up high. I, I can, you know, fold it over. I don't know if that's going to add noise or not, but what I might do instead is kind of cut it back a little bit down here, desolder that, cut it back down into here, and then put it back in now in a more permanent position under some of this wiring and whatnot. But uh, it's coming along, so we'll give you another update as we get further along. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. So I've got the wires rerun, and if you can see now, I've got a nice continuous line along the bottom here. I guess we should probably look into the actual um, camera, make sure we can see all of that. Yep, so we can. So um, you'll be a little bit confusing maybe because there's black and green here for the speaker, but effectively we've got a nice line run across, and each one I'm only bringing up the wires close enough to, uh, bring them in exactly where they need to go and then pulling them right back away again. And one of the things I'll want to, I actually should do, whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to try and bend these wires up a little away from the, uh, the heaters and try and push the heaters down to the bottom. But what I'm going to do here in a second as well with you guys live is turn it on. So I'm bringing those again, all the signal wires I've kind of brought up and away and then that, and these are just straight in and then away and they're running back across into here. And then I kind of sweeped this in here so it doesn't get too close to the output transformer kind of link up there. Then I jump it up high and over to the two ground connections and then over to the main input. So that should hopefully give me heater wires that are correctly wired across the board. And now we're going to plug this guy in, turn it on and see what we get. So here we go. And we have light. Generally, I don't do a limiter if I'm just doing a subtle tweak like this. I'm seeing the rectifier glow. I'm seeing glow on the power tube. So that looks good. Looks like we have power across the board. So the bigger issue is now we're gonna hear output. Yep, we do. Okay, so there's still some hum, but let's kind of see. Um, now if I switch. This is the input jack that I was seeing some of that in. So let's go ahead and chopstick again. I did resolder these a little bit. I don't get that hum there, so that's fixed. I almost wonder if I want to try and resolder some of the grounding connections across here because um, that. Um, I'm also getting a little crackly noise. And I'm not sure where that's coming from. sounds a little cleaner just that I, what, part of what that was was adjusting where this heater wire was with respect to the input wire I might need to try and kind of uh, pry this a little away like that 
again, you have to be very careful not to shock the crap out of yourself, but... Um, the tube itself seems fine now. So I'm getting that little snappity crackle. So that's kind of expected if you break that grounding seal with that switch jack. But when I let it go, it should clear back out. I'm going to take a minute. It's it's working again. And some of that overall kind of hum you I used to hear seems to be gone. That's the grounding of the amp, or the guitar. As soon as I touch it, it goes away. So I'm going to try a little bit here. I'm also wondering if some of this kind of, I'm getting a little bit more hum might be this. So what I might do as well, shut her off, pull this guy out and over away from here a little bit to see if the hum is there. If so I might end up moving it uh, this way just a little bit more closer. But hey, the the general sound is cleaner, except I'm now hearing a little bit of what does sound like transformer-ish kind of hum. But that could be again coming because this is too close to this rectifier. So we'll see if we can fix that. But I think a lot of my buzzing is gone. So let's try this. A little bit of crackling stuff going on too. I'm not sure what that is. Oh yeah, actually it comes and goes as I wiggle this. So I'm going to try and reflow some solder across all the grounding here just to make sure that I've got good connection to my grounds because that may be what's going on there. So we'll, we'll come back in a minute with that. Alrighty, so this is my, uh, now this is the normal channel and it's sounding a lot better. <laughs> I'm sure I'm clipping here, but the bigger point really to me is that like right now you hear almost nothing and it's at max volume, which is really good. We'll check the other input. A little teeny bit more noise, but not massive. And then I come to this guy. Same thing, pretty clean. At max volume. And then we'll go to the other channel. But the nice thing is just how much cleaner this is. I'm pretty impressed. I actually didn't even end up moving this because it's so clean. There's a bit more noise still on this one. And I'm almost wondering if my jack's got a little bit of something going on there because I've resotted, reconnected everything. But But there you have it. We'll probably have to be muting most of that. But the bigger point really is how clean this sounds, and I'm pretty happy. So we've got it all uh, dialed down. I've got these. If you look here again, I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of close to the guitar, so obviously it's going to pick up some noise there. That's near the transformer. But um, the heater wires are much cleaner now, out of the way, not near audio flow stuff. So all in all, um, I'm uh, very happy with what I've got fixed here and cleaned up, and though I have the output switchable. So I'm going to try this upstairs again. You'll see it. I'm going to put it all back together and go upstairs, and we'll take a shot of it inside of my new, uh, or plugged into my new speaker uh, at 16 ohms instead of the 8 ohms. So we'll be uh, playing around with that in a minute, and we'll give you a demo of that. All right, the final bit here. Got it back together. It's way cleaner sounding. There's still a little bit of noise, but we've got volume pretty high. Uh, you know, if I, if I turn down a bit, that will come down. But I'm also... I'm also trying. All right, so here's a little bit of uh, it now. That's a little drive on my soul food. I'm also running at 16 ohms for this speaker, which is better supported for it. So there you have it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, please do give me a thumbs up, like it, 
and subscribe. And uh, I definitely want to hear your input on what things should be coming next. So please uh, give me some input on that as well. So everybody have a great day. Um, keep your tubes by as hot and keep the jams coming.